How you doing guys, welcome to another video. This is topic 18.1, exclusive, higher level, Lewis acids and bases. Let's go. All right, volume six, what are Lewis acids and bases? We basically look at Lewis theory and then we need to know what a Lewis acid and a Lewis base is. The IB understandings and applications and skills focus on that understanding of what a Lewis acid is and what a Lewis base is. And that's what we're gonna concentrate on. So Lewis theory describes an acid as an electron pair acceptor and a base as an electron pair donor. This requires a Lewis base to have a non-bonding pair of electrons and a Lewis acid to be electron deficient in some way. Lewis acids do not have to have a H in their formula and include molecules such as BF3. So a Lewis acid is an electron pair acceptor. A Lewis base is an electron pair donor. So the Lewis acid must be electron deficient in some way and we'll talk about that in this video. So Lewis acids are often electron deficient. That is, they don't have a full outer shell of electrons and they're very reactive towards any electron pair donor. Boron trifluoride, for example, is a good example of a Lewis acid. Now, why would that be a Lewis acid? Well, if we draw the structure, it has a trigonal planar structure with boron having three covalent bonds to three fluorine atoms. But boron is in the second period of the periodic table, so it can have eight electrons in the outer shell. In that arrangement, it only has six. So it is, in fact, electron deficient. It does not have a full octet. So for example, BF3, it is electron deficient. It could react with NH3, which has a lone pair of electrons, to form a Lewis acid base complex. The BF3, the electron deficient species, will be the Lewis base. The ammonia, with its lone pair of electrons, will be the Lewis acid. So we form a Lewis acid base complex, and that's actually held together by coordinate bonding, where the lone pair of electrons from the ammonium has been donated to the boron atom. So when a Lewis base reacts with a Lewis acid, that coordinate bond is formed, where one of the atoms in the species is providing both of the electrons for the bond. The Lewis base is an electron pair donor acting as a nucleophile, while the Lewis acid is an electron pair acceptor acting as an electrophile. And we've talked about nucleophiles and electrophiles in topic 20. The reaction between BF3 and NH3, we can show the coordinate bond from a, by, via an arrow coming from the nitrogen heading towards the boron, showing that that is the coordinate bond formed between those two Lewis species. The NH3 acts as a nucleophile, the BF3 acting as an electrophile. Examples of Lewis acids include BF3, SO3, and H+. H+, doesn't have an electron, so it, in fact, is electron deficient. Examples of Lewis bases include NH3, ammonia, OH-, the hydroxide ion, and water. They're all good examples of Lewis bases. Now, if we're asked to compare Bronsted, Lowry, and Lewis theory of acids and bases, then what we need to do is compare the both of the theories. So a Bronsted Lowry acid is a proton donor. A Bronsted Lowry base is a proton acceptor. A Lewis acid is an electron receiver, and a Lewis base is an electron donor. So they're kind of the opposite of each other, except instead of talking about protons, we need to talk about electrons. Not all Lewis acids and Bronsted, not all Lewis acids are Bronsted Lowry acids. The term Lewis acid is basically reserved for those things that act as acids which don't actually have a hydrogen ion to donate. Many reactions can be described as acid and base as a transfer of protons takes place, but in Lewis acid base reactions, there's often no transfer of protons occurring. 
So volume six, some top tips. Remember that they're kind of opposites to each other and reactions can be both. They can be both Bronsted, Lowry, and they can also be Lewis, or they could be just one or the other. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget, drop a like on the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.